Hi guys, welcome back. So we're back today for our final game in the Champions League group stage and it's still all to play for so I'll show you what's happening there in a minute. But first let me run you through what's been happening. I've played a load of games since the last episode. So after the United game it was Torino at home. Disappointing 1-1 draw, Amasuchi with the goal for us. Then a 1-1 draw at home to Inter, not too bad, Amasuchi again with our goal. Then we won another Champions League game, narrow 1-0 win away to Charleroi, Pashev with the only goal of the game, getting us the win. Then we went away to Juve, lost 3-1, Amasuchi with our goal. Then a really good 5-0 win at home to Udinese, really dominant performance, Pashev with two and Amasuchi with a hat-trick, all coming in the second half. Actually looked like it could have been like a tight game for a while, but then somehow he scored five goals out of nowhere. Then we beat Charleroi again in the Champions League. Vichau and Pierre and Tony with the goals to get us the 2 0 win. Then a 4 1 loss away to Milan, but this isn't actually as bad as it looks. Amasuchi got our goal, but if you look at the match stats for this game, I've no idea how we've lost this one 4 1. They scored four goals from 0.94 xG and five shots on target. We had 2.4 xG, 6 on target, 22 shots overall and only managed one goal. Karnasechi though playing a 5.8 this game, a rare bad performance from him. Probably the main reason why we lost. We bounced back though with the 2-0 win at home to Atalanta. Amasuchi again and Igor Zagovic with a rare goal. Doesn't get many of the playmaker. Then this one could be costly. We lost at home to Man United in the Champions League. Quite an even game, we held our own, but they took the lead through Vuskovic from a set piece. Then Vlahovic got the second just before half time to really sort of kill the game. Pierre and Tony got one back, but we couldn't find an equaliser. Then the good form in Serie A did continue though, with a 1 0 win away to Brescia. Andrea Bellotti with a really light goal, 90 plus 2, to get us the win. It was another win away to spell, 3 0. Rivero, Pierantoni and Bellotti again with another goal from the penalty spot. And then another 3-0 win most recently at home to Spezia. Pierantoni, Rivero and Pashev with the goals. So, pretty good form in Serie A recently. Four clean sheets in a row as well in the league. Four wins in a row. Even the Milan result recently was unlucky. And then Udinese the win obviously. So, it's going pretty well in the league. That's left us 7th. But we're actually in pretty good form. We've won 8 out of 15. We've only lost 3. And those were away to Milan, Juve. And the Sassuolo defeat looked really bad at the start of the season. But they're actually having a really good season up in 4th. Hopefully though we can still get a European finish. Still a lot of football to be played. Over 20 odd games. Sampdoria weirdly having a good season as well. Juve back top of the league though. I'll show you how the Champions League's looking as well. So, that defeat to United could be costly because it meant we dropped down to third place in the group. And it means going into the final game, away to Bayern Munich, realistically we need to win. I think actually only a win, only a win would actually do, only because of head-to-head -head with Man United. So, it'll be winner takes all away to Bayern Munich. We beat them already, but you, you just feel like the away game's going to be a lot more difficult. Looks like they're going to be playing a diamond then. Not ideal that Pashev's not completely fit and we don't have Rivero either who's out injured. So I think Pashev's just going to have to play even though he's not 100%. We can bring on a youngster later on or Bellotti or something. But the team's fairly settled now. Go Karna section goal, Takuna at right back. Shout out for Takuna by the way. He's developing really nicely. He's described as a wonder kid, 20 years old, bags of potential. If you have a look as well at how he's been doing, considering we signed him for 1.5 million a couple of seasons ago, a bit underwhelming at first, but he's getting better every season. As you can see, he's playing a 7.39 this season average rating, already four assists, two player of the matches, developing really nicely. 
Patella and Ahmed Hodzic at centre back, Simakas at left back, Askilson and Jabur in the middle, Pierre and Tony Zagovic and Pashev behind Amasuchi. Amasuchi just gone to another level this season, by the way. 12 in 12 starts in the league, 16 in 16 in all competitions. After a sort of not really kicking on the last couple of seasons, it seems like he really has this season. 7.5 average rating in the league. I'm going to have to gamble, I think, and not have a left back on the bench, which isn't ideal. A few players we could have done with as well, like and G. Rivero, as I mentioned, Bashao. So we're going in a bit weaker than ideal. Can we pull off the impossible, though? I'm going to say let's just carry on last performance, we'll do well. Team's well up for it. Okay, so they are playing the diamond. Leroy Sane as an attacking midfielder. Surely better out wide, but I guess we'll see. I think first and foremost, let's just stay in the game early on. We can try and win it later on. They've taken control of this really early. Free kick into the box. And Forsyth scores. Not a good start. Just seven minutes on the clock. And run done by a set piece of all things. With people like Ahmed Hodzic in there, we really shouldn't be losing set piece headers and things. They've had loads of the ball. Several shots already. If we do get a whole lot though, a skeleton sends it forward, but the keeper should sweep up for them, unfortunately. What's he going to do with it? He rolls it out to open Meccano, across to Low, Goretzka, Sane, João Pedro. Now that ball in behind to Wilfred Singo, Singo down the right, cross, Luca, João Pedro, and that's 2 0, and that could be game over after 10 minutes. I'm actually going to be right the team early on. Yeah, they're in complete control, 2-0. And they're still attacking, Singo with this throwing. Ahmed Hodzic does win it. Out to Pierre and Tony, can we break? Early ball, Amasuchi's in behind. Can he get a shot away? Amasuchi? Oh, he needs to be scoring those. Puts it over the bar. Amasuchi did blaze a penalty over the bar recently as well, so I don't think he'll be taking them anymore. It's Mr. Few now. Takuna with this throw in to Zagovic. Takuna with the early ball. Pashev on the volley. Decent effort, but it's over the bar. Bit better from us. Bayern might have taken the foot off the gas there. As expected, Man United are 2 0 up in their game, so we need to win if we're going to have any chance. Pierre and Tony now. A skilled son. Can we get one back before half time? Ahmed Hodzic here, out to Simikas, and that's a poor ball to Pashev. Could be their attack again. Luka, Forsyth, a skeleton reads the danger really well. Takuna, Pierre and Tony. Keeping it here in our own half. Back to Takuna, a skeleton. Patella's under pressure. I don't know why they've passed him the ball. And now Lorenzo Luka threw down this right side, forced him wide. Cross, Joe Pedro, that's 3 0. And that's game over, realistically. We had such control of the ball, and then we gave it to Batella under so much pressure. Kicks it off Pedro. Luca gets away, and then Pedro's not going to miss that. And the plan of staying in the game in the first half is completely out the window. Pashev's absolutely exhausted. The defence isn't playing well. 
thrash arms. What was that? Get your acts together. Even Takuna, who I bigged up before the game, playing a 6.4. I think we've got to take Pashev off. You know what? We'll give the youngster a game. We'll give Sizek a game. We've pretty much lost this game. Let's give some young players some game time. And if they can do something, then that's a bonus. Play Pierre and Tony on the left, I think. A bit more of a goal threat. them again on the attack, Sano with his corner, low heads over and our 3-0 win at home to Barney is looking increasingly more like a fluke. I think home advantage though is so important in FM. Simicass exhausted but we don't have a left back on the bench. In fact, Nil can just play over there I think. Or maybe Takuna. And let's give the youngster Gorka Addo some game time. We'll put Zagovic into box to box. We're going pretty attacking here. Two sort of playmakers in the middle. Back to Muller. He goes long. And they win it again. Patella should deal with it. And he does. Fine Sizek. Addo now with this ball to Amasuchi. Seen a couple of the youngsters involved. Takuna. Pier and Tony's in down the left. Pier and Tony. Falls for Amasuchi. And we have one back. I don't know why celebrate. Should be getting the ball. Half an hour. Can we pull off a miracle? A couple of the youngsters involved in this move. Takuna on this left side now with the ball. Found Pier and Tony. He looked for Sizek, but he fell nicely for Amasuchi. Got a throw in as well now down this left side. Can we get a second? Takuna, Pier and Tony linking up into Zagovic, back to Takuna, Ahmed Hodzic. Takuna inside for Zagovic, Addo. From range, oh, he rattles the bar. The youngster, nearly with a memorable goal there. Low foot for Meccano. They go back to the keeper. Can we press him? Muller gets rid. Takuna loses the header. But we do win it back. Pierre and Tony going on a run now. Can he find Amasuchu? Takuna. Pierre and Tony blocked. Addo links it though. Takuna looks for Amasuchu. Knocks it down. Pierre and Tony. Back across for Addo. Amasuchu. Oh, onto the bar. We've certainly had our chances in this game. Been a much better second half. Going to encourage again. They've now got a free kick. Sane. Oh, and it looks like a penalty. Four sauce gone over in the box. VAR confirms it. And unless Karnasechi can come up with a big save. Pedro. Sends Karnasechi the wrong way. That's 4-1. That's definitely game over now. So it looks like we're going to finish third in the group. I think that's Europe, uh, Europa League football, unless I'm mistaken. That you drop into if you finish third. I think we've given a good account of ourselves though. Our first season in the Champions League. As Amasuchi goes through here, can we get another one? Up for Meccano. I think it was just outside the box, maybe. But he should be sent off here, surely up for Meccano on a yellow card. He's given a penalty. I'll take it. Zagovic. Try and get another one back. Zagovic. Follows it into the bottom corner. 4-2. Looks a bit more respectable. 
and like I said, we're giving these teams a game. Especially Bayern Munich and Man United at home. We beat Charleroi as I expected. And even this game away to Bayern Munich. We've had our chances to get something. Just not quite defended properly, especially the set pieces. Let's run into another highlight here. Alfonso Davis. Forsyth now, he's been a pretty good player. Pedro. Goretzka. Looks like the spacing behind if they find the pass. Ullman with it. Sane. Pedro through again. Joe Pedro. A bit of a let off there. Could have been five. And that's full time. Our Champions League campaign comes to an end for the season. Although, like I said, I'm pretty sure we're dropping to Europa League if I'm right. I'll say... I'm proud of their efforts. Okay, at least they took it the right way. They normally get really pissed off with that. Confirmation then that we have dropped into the Europa League. We're into the first knockout round. So European football still on the cards this season. I think that'll be about February time if I'm if I'm not mistaken. How much money do we get? 482k there. We got a fair bit of money though from our Champions League. We're the three wins. I think it was over two million pound a win so six seven million i think it was for our champions league campaign not too bad at all and europa league which if we're being honest probably more our level at the moment just have a look actually who's in the europa league see what sort of teams we could be coming up against okay so you've got valencia newcastle Benfica, Napoli, Marseille, Monaco, Arsenal are in there, Bilbao, Sassuolo are actually in there which I forgot about. So yeah still some difficult teams but maybe more of our level. Right so I think we've got a league game in a couple of days so I think we're going to come back for that one as well while I'm here. Just rest the players up first and I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I'm back for the Sampdoria game now. I thought it'd be a pretty good game to cover considering they're having a good season and challenging up in the top four. Another big test for us, although we are at home, so hopefully we can get a result. Team-wise, do I want to make any changes from the last game? I think I'll just bring Sanya onto the bench for Rivera, who's obviously injured. Just go with that, I think. So apparently we were proud of the team last time, but we want to see a marked improvement according to the assistant manager. Okay then. I've no idea what that bit is in the corner of the stadium. It looks like an office block or something. Okay, so they're playing the same as us then, 4 2 3 1. It's been a bit random in recent seasons how teams have just done well out of nowhere, like Fiorentina, Sassuolo, now Sampdoria. I also noticed Roma had won the league one of the seasons at the start. And obviously, Juve and Inter have had a couple of seasons struggling. Amasuchi's in here, and Amasuchi puts us 1 0 up. He's 18th of the season. He's been on fire this season. Simicas with the assist. Not got too many for an attacking wing back. Nice build up play. Jabua sets Simicas free down this left side. And Simicas with the defence splitting ball. And a really good finish from Amasuchi. And if we could win this one, be looking a lot healthier in terms of. Europa qualification. 
still ideally want to get back in that top four. It's definitely doable. So falling into another highlight. I'm a suit you going down through a wander down this left side. Into Pierre and Tony. Down to a Skilton. Test Gregorio with the volley. Gets it behind for a corner. Zagovic with it. I think he'll be going for Ahmed Hodzic at the near post. They've just about dealt with it. It's them now with the corner. Vignato with it. Thorsby heads just over. Pretty even game so far, stats wise. So we're approaching half time. Gonna have one more highlight, it looks like. Takuna throws it to Zagovic. Takuna again. Loose pass to Thorsby. And De Groot, oh, what, what has happened there? Pass back to the goalkeeper. It's going down as his own goal, but I don't think it's his fault. Completely caught me off guard there. Takuna with a wayward pass, and the defender catches everyone unaware here with a quick back pass. Okay, Dr the Gregorio could have done better with that. He slides for it rather than moving. And it's nice for once for, to be on the receiving end of some of these weird goals because it's normally us messing about at the back. Pashev scythe down, Moore could be in trouble. It's a straight red for Moore. And things have taken a big turn in our favour here right on half time. A second goal and a red card. Zagovic now with this corner. Oh, and we hit the bar. I think it might have been Takuna of all people, maybe. Forward to Amasuchi now. We're looking for a third before half time. Jabur presses it. De Gregorio gets it away safely this time. Patella heads away. We seem to be playing over the added time, but I suppose there was a red card. Niccolo to Thorsby. I think they're just keeping it now before half time. Oh, and we've lost it here. We've let them in. Roy. Oh, what a goal from them, to be fair. Armored Hodzic with the mistake. Let's Roy in. Just a long ball. Armored Hodzic got to be doing better than that. And what a finish that is from Roy. In off the underside of the bar. No chance from Karnasecchi. And even though they're down to 10 men, they've got one back. I'm going to say, just because we have an extra player doesn't mean we can let up, stay focused. Pashev with this free kick, Zagovic can't quite get on it and it's going to be them breaking away. Vignato with it. Someone needs to tackle him. Really poor defending there, letting him all the way into our half. Van Hoisten now, as my game starts lagging. A Skilton intercepts, Amasuchi, tackled, Pier and Tony back to Amasuchi, and that's 3-1, two goal cushions restored, Amasuchi with his 19th of the season now, he's got 40 minutes to get a hat-trick, you wouldn't bet against him doing it again, I think he's already got two or three this season. Tackled, but then Pier and Tony finds him. And he's not going to miss when he's on this sort of form. Plus again, Pashev with this free kick into Amasuchi. Just keeps, it goes back to Simikas. No idea why the game's lagging. Simikas, cross, Pierantoni header. That was far more troubling than it should have been for the keeper as it goes off the post and away. Straight into another hollow though, we've got throwing down this left side. Pashev in the box. Pashev, shot blocked. Falls to Takuna, a skilled turn. Keeping the pressure on here, we're not letting up. Could be a long half for Sampdoria. 
Hashrev Tolering. We'll bring in Tommy Holgerson actually came in and did quite well one of the games. Give him a go on the left. Bring in Ado for Zagovic as well. Give these young players some minutes. If we can't do it at 3-1 up against 10 men, I don't know when we can. Can't set you guys long. As the whole lot ends. A few touring players after that midweek game against Bayern Munich. It's been the case all season with the two games a week. Vignato with his free kick and Roy misses the sitter. I'm going to tell the team here to focus because we're giving them too many chances considering they've got 10 men. Addo with this corner. Headed away. Damsgaard will chase it but Holgerson gets there first. Simikas. Takuna. Cross. I think Holgerson was looking for it. Vignato Jabu gets a foot in. Addo. Holgerson. Holgerson into the box. What a run from Holgerson! His first goal for the club, Tommy Holgerson, the youngster signed in the summer. I think he's already got an assist, but what a run this is. Messi-esque from Holgerson. Inside, past two tackles and slots it coolly past the keeper. 4-1 with only 13 minutes to go. That should be the point safe. We'll get on another youngster. I think Peter and Tony was one of the most tired, so we'll get Sizek on again. On this right side. Star Wars is apparently as good as Peter and Tony at the role. Keeper goes long. Dam's guard with it now. Back to Ruben Vinaga. Sizek intercepts though, and back to Karnasetri. So we're going to look for this fifth goal, I think. Ball down the line. Addo with a good tackle in there. And Holgerson sets Amasuchi free. Looks for Sizek. Asked a bit too much of him. Patella just about deals with that. Jabua into Addo. Good ball in behind to Amasuchi. Amasuchi for the hat trick, gets the hat trick. He's 20th of the season, I think that's his third hat trick of the season. Really cool finish from Amasuchi. Really good players off from Addo, the substitute. The youngster always seems to do well when he comes on. Looks like he'll be a really good playmaker when he develops, if we can give him more football. Really productive game. Getting these youngsters minutes as well. We've got Holgerson getting his first goal. And Amasuchi gets another one. Simikas with another assist. I know they're down to 10 men. But what a performance this is. Against the team that was second heading into this game. Simikas with a great cross. And Amasuchi pulls off at the back post. Into injury time now. And that's full time. 6 1 against the team that started the day second in the league. Not too bad at all. Amasuchi with four goals. Holgerson, the youngster, with his first goal for the club. Gorka Addo with two assists. Can't complain about how that's gone. Outstretched arms. Very well done. That was an excellent win. So that win makes it five in a row now in Serie A, conceding just one goal in the process. We're on really good form. We almost don't want that winter break to come, although it is coming after the next game against Lecce, unfortunately. Then we're back in January. I'm not expecting to do too much in the January transfer window, if anything. I think the next episode will probably be around February time. Oh, and before I forget, we have played some national team matches. We finished our World Cup qualification campaign. And we got our first ever World Cup qualifier victory, or the first one since I've been here anyway. A 1-0 win against Lithuania, Nikola Nani with the goal, Richard Jakubu got sent off, of course we always have a player sent off it seems like, but we still hung on for the win, 
against a team ranked 136, so a really good win there. Then we played Holland again, not quite as bad as last time, but a 7-1 loss. Kasady with our goal. Then a 5-2 loss to Sweden, and this actually looks a lot worse than it was, but they scored three goals after the 77th minute. And in fact, we were 2-1 up in this game with 10 men. And in fact, I think I should show you one of the goals that we scored in this game. Francione, the right back. With an audacious finish if we watch it. Isak again got a hat-trick against us. Sort of quality we're up against and Kulusevski, of course. But this was the goal then from Francione. I think this put us level or ahead. Francione in behind, chipped the goalkeeper. Really wasn't expecting that from the right back. Yeah, and that actually put us level with 10 men. We went ahead. And it actually looked like we were going to get a result for quite a long time in this game. So 5-2, even though, you know, the stats say they deserve it, but we nearly pulled off something there. And the last result in the World Cup qualification campaign was a 1-1 draw against Iceland. Not a bad result, this one. Rizzi with our goal. We were close to getting a result against Iceland last time. We really should have done, I think. It meant we finished bottom of the group, of course. But one win and three draws. Not too bad at all. Six points from the ten matches. Definitely something to build on. I think on another day, we get another result against the likes of Lithuania and Georgia. And maybe finish fourth or fifth. So... We weren't cut adrift by any means, only two points in it between 6th and 4th. So more promising signs I think there. And some of those recent results have lifted us up to 179th. I think it was recently we were 198th. So we're up 9 places in a short space of time. Really good signs there. Right, so I think this episode has probably dragged on long enough already, so I'll leave it there. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.